7 and in our health watch today, we are focusing on a common health condition that impacts millions of women worldwide. It is called endometriosis. It's been called the mist disease because many women may not even know they have it. Well, this morning in Studio 61, we are joined by Dr. Jessica Mullen. She is the director of gynecology over at Hartford Hospital, and she's here to tell us all about the disorder and uh, how people can get help with that. Thank you for joining us. Happy to be here. Yeah, and very important topic here. Now, many people may not be aware of endometriosis because in some cases it often goes without symptoms, right? So mm -hmm. what should people look out for and what is endometri endometriosis? Yeah, absolutely. So endometriosis is a condition where the cells that are similar to the lining of your uterus can actually spread and implant outside the uterus. And it causes chronic pain and uh, inflammation. Um, and symptoms most commonly are pelvic pain. And that could be in the form of daily pain. It could be coming and going over the cycles. Um, some women actually experience severe pain during menstrual cycle and may have heavier periods. And there are other symptoms like pain with intercourse. Um, and if endometriosis is affecting outside the gynecologic organs, it can actually cause GI symptoms like diarrhea, oh. pain with defecation, and even um, affecting your bladder, you have pain with urination. So, this is probably the reason it's difficult to diagnose because it could be different based on the patient's symptoms. Wow, yeah. wow. Now, how would this affect someone's everyday life? Yeah, you can imagine the stress of this chronic pain. And um, another thing is that it can cause infertility over time because mm -hmm. of the inflammation. And so it does lead to, over time, stress, anxiety, and depression, especially if it's going undiagnosed, because it's hard to deal with that when there's no reason, right? You don't know why you're suffering right. from it. Right. Yeah. Now, uh, cases, it has been, it seems like it's becoming more popular, but is that because people are actually being diagnosed more, or do you think yes. more women are just starting to speak up about this? I think it's both, for sure. There's a lot more awareness of it, and that doctors are now, you know, making the diagnosis more readily um, just because of there's more to know about it, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now what resources are available for people who are experiencing this? So absolutely, there's a lot of online communities actually and patient advocacy forums online. So if you're thinking you may have it, it's an easy search. Um, but I also want to encourage everybody to really talk to your doctors, your gynecologists, especially if you're experiencing pain with your period, because it's not really, if it's affecting your everyday life and you can't go to work, that's really not normal. Yeah. And you should not suffer in silence, you know, and I think a lot of women tend to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's good to talk to your doctors about it. Yes, yeah, so you have to advocate for ourselves, right. ladies. Now, yes. I was uh, sharing with Dr. Molins here. I recently came across an article from the actress um, Tia Maori, you know, back in the sister sister days. <laughs> and she was opening up about her experience yeah. with endometriosis. It's something that she wasn't sure to wasn't sure on exactly how to pinpoint what was going on. Mm -hmm. So I guess they had some issues with diagnosing it, but it mm -hmm. wasn't until she had surgery, she said, right. that they were able to see the damage that was done to right. her internal yeah. organs. Yeah. Yeah, and for sure. So diagnosis is usually a combination of your symptoms. Um, as well as your physical exam, and sometimes it can show up on radi radiology imaging, but the only way to definitively say you have it is through surgery. Okay. Now, you don't have to have surgery to get treated for it, though, so sometimes we'll just go ahead and treat you, and if you improve, then you can confirm the diagnosis that way. Okay. Yeah. All right. So big thing here is advocate for yourself, talk to your doctors, mm -hmm. don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. All right. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you so much for joining You're us. You're welcome. And if you miss